This is uh, AI6YR, um, showing off a uh, radio I just uh, uh, got back running. It's a uh, radio, uh, it's a World War II military receiver called the BC-312N. Uh, this is uh, used during World War II. This one was built in 1942 uh, by the Farnsworth Television and Radio Corporation. And this was uh, pretty commonly used in, uh, in the U.S. Army. Uh, typically on vehicles um, or maybe installed in headquarters. Uh, coverage is from 1.5 megahertz to uh, 18 megahertz uh, or back in the day that 1500 to 1800 KCs. Uh, it can receive both CW, sideband and AM and it runs on uh, believe it or not 24 volts, 12 volts or 120 volts AC. I currently have this running uh, on uh, AC power. Uh, it's a very heavy radio, about 58 pounds, and uh, it definitely, uh, and this one has a shock mount on it, and it's definitely very heavy. This 40 meter CW. A lot of signals in here. So here's some of the uh, features of the uh, BC-312. Um, up in the uh, corners, up, uh, up right there on the corner there, corners down here, there's uh, one right there, there's one over there, one up on top. There's actually um, uh, three really easy to twist tabs to pull the whole panel off. I'm not going to do that right now, but it's really easy. Uh, I guess it's designed so someone could flip it open and, uh, and change tubes. Um, there's two antenna inputs. Uh, there's one right here. And there's one right here. Um, uh, this one is uh, non-standard. I think the what they had on there before was uh, slightly different than the standard PL259. Uh, one of the prior owners of this radio had changed it. Uh, that's alt signal, and that's actually N-fed wire going out the door here. Um, this is the band selector down here in the in the corner. So uh, you crank that. It's a very mechanical thing. It actually switches the band switches on. A bunch of places and they kind of clunk. I'll do that real quick here. So that's how you switch bands. Uh, up here on the top, right there, is the uh, antenna input uh, alignment. Um, that's actually a capacitor. It aligns the, it actually changes the. Um, the the capacitance to match the antenna pretty typical on tube radios um, there's two tune, tuning dials there's this dial right here and there's another dial up here uh, the one on the bottom is faster it's a coarse and the other one is finer it's uh, and it changes how speed so control up on top uh, up there is the uh, dial light uh, how bright it is um, volume uh, is up here. It's the the big one up there. Uh, there is a, a CW oscillator on off button all the way up in the corner, and uh, also up in the corner there is the uh, CW shift right there. Uh, there's the off on, um, and then there's two modes. There's manual volume control and auto volume control, um, and those are right there. Uh, and then there's three speaker or, or headphone outputs. The one on top, which is plugged in right now, on the right is for speaker, which is louder. It's got another tube to amplify. And the two lower ones are for headphones. So that's kind of the uh, layout. Uh-huh. 
This is AM Radio, Broadcast Band.